let's discuss the Prophet Muhammad in the Jewish and the Christian scriptures. The Jewish and the Christian scriptures, we know that the Bible is divided into the Old Testament and the New Testament. The Bible, according to the Catholics, has 73 books. According to the Protestants, they have thrown out seven books as apocrypha, doubtful from the Old Testament. So total Bible contains 66 books. So the New Testament of the Catholics and the Protestants contain 27 books. But the Old Testament of the Catholics contains 46 books. Of the Protestant, it contains 39 books. The Old Testament speaks about the stories about the prophets that came before Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. And the New Testament speaks about the life and the times of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. We'll first discuss the prophecy of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in the Jewish scriptures. It's mentioned in the Old Testament, in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 18, verse number 18. It says, Almighty God says, I shall raise them a prophet from among thy brethren, like unto thee, and I shall put my words into his mouth, and he shall speak all that I command him. This prophecy says, I shall raise them for prophet from among their brethren, like unto thee, like Moses, peace be upon him. So the Christians, they say that this prophecy refers to no one but prophet Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. And when we ask them, why does it refer to Jesus Christ, peace be upon him? They tell us because the prophecy says the prophet to come should be like Moses, peace be upon him. And Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was like Moses, peace be upon him. And when we ask them, how are they alike? They tell us that Moses and Jesus, peace be upon them. Both of them were prophets of God, and both of them were Jew. That's why this prophecy is talking about Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. If these two are the only criteria, if these two are the only criteria for the fulfillment of the prophecy, that he should be a Jew and he should be a prophet of God, then all the prophets mentioned in the Bible, after Moses, peace be upon him, fulfill this prophecy. For example, Prophet Solomon, Ezekiel, Isaiah, Daniel, Hosea, Joel, John the Baptist, peace be upon them all. All of them were prophets of God and all of them were Jew. All of them fulfilled the prophecy. If we analyze, we come to know that this prophecy befits no one better than the last and final messenger prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Let's analyze what does the prophecy say. The prophecy says, I shall raise them a prophet from among their brethren like unto thee, like unto Moses, peace be upon him. If we analyze Moses and Muhammad, peace be upon them, both of them were born naturally. But Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he was not born naturally, he was born without any male intervention. And this is mentioned in the Quran in Surah Al-Imran, chapter number 3, verse number 45 to 47, and is also mentioned in the Bible, in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 1, verse number 18, and the Gospel of Luke, chapter number 1, verse number 35, that he was born without any male intervention, he was born miraculously. Therefore, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is like Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, and Prophet Jesus is unlike Prophet Moses, peace be upon them. Further, if we analyze Prophet Muhammad and Prophet Moses, peace be upon them, both of them were married and they had children. But according to the Bible, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he was not married and he had no children. So Jesus is unlike Moses and Muhammad is like Moses, peace be upon them all. Further, if we analyze Prophet Moses and Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon them, both of them, they died a natural death. But Prophet Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he did not have a natural death. According to the Quran, we believe that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he was raised up alive. Surah Nisa, chapter number 4, verse number 157 and 158. He did not die, we believe. Even if you read the Christian Bible correctly, even according to the Christian Bible, we can prove he did not die, he was not crucified. But the Christians think that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he died on the cross, he was crucified. For more details regarding this topic, refer to my video cassette and the debate, was Christ crucified? But even if we agree for sake of argument, what they say is right, we have to agree that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, he did not have a natural death. According to the Christian reading of the Bible, which is not correct, they believe he died on the cross. It was not a natural death. We believe he was raised up alive. Both ways we agree 
he did not have a natural death. Therefore, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is not like Moses, peace be upon him. And Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is like Moses, peace be upon him. Further, if you analyze Prophet Moses and Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon them, both of them brought new laws. But according to the Bible, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, did not get a new law. It's mentioned in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 5, verse number 17 and 18. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, says, Think not that I have come to destroy the law of the prophets. I have come not to destroy, but to fulfill. Further, if we analyze, Muhammad and Moses, peace be upon them, besides being prophets of God, they were even worldly kings. That means they could give the punishment of life and death to the person who deserved it. They could give the punishment of death to the person who deserved it. Where Prophet Jesus, peace be upon him, he could not do that. And it's mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter number 18, verse number 36. Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, says, My kingdom is not of this world. And further, if we analyze Moses and Muhammad, peace be upon them. Both of them, their people, they accepted them as prophets of God as a whole. But Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, his people as a whole, they did not accept him as a prophet. It's mentioned in the Gospel of John, chapter number 1, verse number 11, that they all forsook him. So here when we analyze, we come to know that Moses and Muhammad, peace be upon them, are alike. And Moses and Jesus, peace be upon them, they are unlike. So this prophecy refers to no one but Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. The prophecy further says, I shall raise them, a prophet, from among thy brethren. And we know that the Arabs are the cousins of the Jews. Moses was a Jew, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa was an Arab. Peace be upon them both. So, Arabs and Jews are cousins. Furthermore, the prophecy says, I shall raise them, a prophet, from among their brethren, like unto thee, and I shall put my words into his mouth, and he shall say all that I command him. We know that Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa used to get the wahi from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and he used to repeat verbatim whatever was revealed to him. It was as though words were put into his mouth. And if to repeat whatever Almighty God is to say. So this prophecy refers to no one but the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad The next verse further says, in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 18, verse number 19, it says that if you hearken not unto my words, I will require of thee, or I will take revenge. That means all those who do not hearken unto the words of this messenger to come, Prophet Muhammad Almighty God will take revenge. It's further mentioned in the book of Isaiah, chapter number 29, verse number 12. It says that the book shall be given to him who is not learned. The book shall be given to a prophet who is not learned. And when it is said, read this, I pray thee, he will say, I am not learned. And we know that when the first wahi came to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and when Archangel Gabriel said, Ikra, read. A beloved Prophet Muhammad replied, Ma ana bikari, which means I have not learned it. This is the verbatim fulfillment of the prophecy of the book of Isaiah, chapter 29, verse number 12, that when the book is given to the person who is unlearned, we know Prophet Muhammad was unlettered, he was an ummi, and when it would be said to him, read, he will say, I am not learned. And that's what he said, Ma ana bikari. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is also mentioned by name in the Old Testament. It's mentioned in the Song of Solomon, chapter number 5, verse number 16. It says in Hebrew, Hikku Mamitakim Vikulli Muhammadim Zaydudi Zairai Baina Jerusalem, which means his mouth is more sweet. He's altogether lovely. He is my beloved. He is my friend, O daughters of Jerusalem. They have translated Muhammadim as altogether lovely. But in the Semitic languages, like Arabic or Hebrew, they add im as a respect. Like to elo God, they add elo him for respect. So to the name of Muhammad, they added Muhammadim for respect. Peace be upon him. So he's mentioned by name in the original manuscript. But now when we read, it's translated to altogether lovely.